What is going on, everyone? It is Mike, and welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV. Apple is releasing products underneath the radar. They are doing this without even a product announcement for this one. This is the battery case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's available now at Apple stores. You could actually go pick this up in stores today if you wanted to, even though Apple said it would be available until Monday. This version retails for $129, and really this is gonna go ahead and give you about 50% more battery life than what you are getting today on your iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro Pro Max. Now for me, the battery life has been pretty good. I've been getting nine hours-ish of screen on time. Sometimes it really depends on uh, what my day looks like. But if you are, you know, if you're experiencing good battery life and you don't necessarily need uh, the bump in juice, there is another reason why you might consider buying this is Apple has a dedicated camera button on the right hand side of the case you know, when you're looking at the phone. So what you do is hold it down. It's going to go ahead and open the camera, push it once. So you want to go ahead and take one photo. You push and hold it, you're gonna take a video. And so right now, this is the, well, we're taking a video with the camera, but, oh, actually, that's kinda of cool. Well, if I hold it down, it opens the camera. And then if I hold it down just some more, it actually closes the camera, pretty neat. Like all of these Apple smart battery cases, this is highly integrated into iOS. It gives you the battery life uh, inside of the Today View widget. If you swipe over to the right once, here's the Today View widget, and you go to the bottom, and it tells you that you have Right, roughly 59% and it is charging the phone while we're talking. It's not one of the battery cases like that you need to turn on or turn off like the Mophie cases that you might have been familiar with. This is always charging your phone and as soon as it's depleted, it'll, then your phone will switch over to the internal battery on the iPhone. Now on the last smart battery case that I owned, I was able to put that on like around 6.30 in the morning and get all the way until five o'clock with the smart battery case on until that died. So I got a lot of usage on that. I'll have to find that video in case you haven't seen it. I'll link it up above, but I do plan on you know, using this, you know, the holidays coming up and on traveling, which travel is usually the best kind of indicator of how the battery is gonna perform. Comes in black, comes in white, and there is a stone pink version. This is gonna be USB-C power delivery. Here you have the speakers for the music to go ahead and pass through. Really, there's not a whole lot of difference. I think the only thing I might or it might feel different is that the lip that goes around the iPhone or the screen feels a little bit thicker than it did last year. If you're unfamiliar, what you're gonna go ahead and do here on the inside, there's gonna be an LED when this is charging, this is gonna light up. Put the, put the iPhone here, you kind of peel back the top of the case, slide it down, you hear it go on. And then you see there where it's actually got the indicator on the display when you first put it in there. So it gives you a visual indication of what the battery is. So I think for most people, unless you are really going to be hard on your battery, that this is not gonna be a buy. It's got the soft touch rubber, it does feel nice. Maybe if you take a lot of photos, that could be the only other reason why I think that this would be obviously valuable because you got that integration with the dedicated camera button. Other ways that you can go ahead and take a photo, you could swipe to the left, open up the camera, that's gonna work there. You can go ahead and hold down the shutter button. Hey, I heard the dedicated camera button. You could ask Siri to go ahead and do it. That would feel stupid though. Take a photo. Yeah, you just feel dumb with that way. So I think that in the grand scheme of things, $130, you know, most people are not gonna buy this. Apple knows already that the battery life on these three devices is better than it was last year and better, you know, it's gonna be good enough for most people. For the people that are, you know, just exhausting the battery by, you know, midday, three, four o'clock and they need to keep going, this is gonna be you know, a no brainer because of the integration with the uh, operating system. And if you're taking photos, you're getting the added benefit of a dedicated camera button, which is really, I think it's easy to use one-handed. You know, it's obviously easy to use in this way, but most people want to say, you know, selfie culture, right? We're all gonna take a picture. We're gonna go ahead and look at the camera. We're gonna hold it with one of our hands. It might not be our dominant hand. In order to get that kind of angle on it, you have the shutter button, which you can use your ring finger for, maybe even your pinky finger for. I don't know, for me, when taking a selfie, using the volume rocker doesn't really work that way. I mean, like I said, I kind of tilt it down and get that unflattering angle, you know? Not a cute selfie, gotta delete it. Let me know what you think about this. Are you gonna pick one up? And if you are, are you getting it because you, you know, go through the battery quite quickly, or are you getting it for the dedicated camera button? I'm going to be posting my experiences on Twitter. Make sure you are following me there. It's at Caputo. I am Mike, and I will talk to you in the next one.